simple pendulum simple pendulum consists of a heavy metallic bob suspended by a light inextensible string from a rigid support length distance between the points of suspension to the center of the metallic bob is called length of the simple pendulum rigid support a rigid support a is that which does not yield under the weight of the bob mean position the point b where the bob starts oscillating and also comes to rest finally is called mean position of the simple pendulum vibration motion of bob from mean position b to one extreme position d to the other extreme position c and back to mean position b is called vibration time period the time taken by pendulum to complete one vibration is called time period it is usually denoted by t amplitude the maximum displacement of the bob from its mean position on either side is called amplitude bd or bc represents amplitudes frequency frequency is the number of vibrations executed by a pendulum in one second it should be ensured that the amplitude is small it shall be observed that the amplitude of vibration will go on decreasing but the time period remains the same vibrations where time period is independent of amplitude are called isochronous vibrations moment of couple two equal unlike parallel forces acting along different lines of action form a couple and produces a rotational effect let p is equal to q in magnitude since they are equal and opposite hence the resultant force is zero they do not produce any translatory motion both the forces try to produce rotation about zero in the same order that is in anti clockwise direction therefore rotational effect of couple or moment of couple is equal to p of ao plus q of ob is equal to p of ao plus ob p is equal to q is equal to p of ab is equal to any one force of perpendicular distance between lines of action perpendicular distance between lines of action of two forces is also called arm of the couple moment of couple is equal to any one force of arm of couple unit of moment of couple is nm in si and dyn centimeters in cgs important couple does not produce any translatory motion it produces only rotatory motion it cannot be balanced by a single force it can be balanced only by an equal and opposite couple moment of force or torque just as force produces a linear acceleration in translatory motion the quantity which produces angular acceleration during moment of rotation is called torque to understand the meaning of torque let us consider the case of a body capable of rotation about the axis 
passing through its hinges. A force is to be applied to rotate the body. The larger the force, the more is its turning effect. In this case, it is not the force alone which determines its turning effect. A door can be turned much more easily when the force is applied near its edge. It is for this reason that the handle is provided near the edge of the door. Thus, the turning effect of a force depends upon the magnitude of the force and the point of application of the force and its line of action. The tendency of force to rotate a body about a given axis is called torque or the moment of the force. It is measured by the product of the force and the perpendicular distance between the line of action of the force and the axis of rotation. Torque Torque is equal to force multiplied by perpendicular distance or torque is equal to FD but D divided by R is equal to sin theta or D is equal to R sin theta. Therefore, torque is equal to FR sin theta. If theta is equal to 90 degrees, sin 90 degree is equal to 1 torque is maximum. Torque is equal to FR. If theta is equal to 0 degrees, sin 0 degree is equal to 0. Therefore, torque is equal to FR sin 0 degree or torque is equal to 0. Torque is 0 minimum when theta is equal to 0 degrees. Principle of Moment It states that when a body is in equilibrium under the action of coplanar forces, then the algebraic sum of moments of all forces about a given axis is zero. Center of gravity. Every body is made up of a very large number of particles. The earth is attracting each particle by a force W, which is the weight of each particle. These forces act towards the center of the earth. Since the radius of the earth is 6,40,000 meter, which is very large as compared to the size of the body, all the forces are parallel. The resultant is given by W plus W plus up to N time is equal to NW which is equal to W when N is the number of particles and W is the weight of the body. The weight W acts at a point G called the center of gravity of the body. Therefore, center of gravity of a body is a point at which whole weight of the body is supposed to act in whatever position the body is placed. The body is always in equilibrium at the point of center of gravity. <laughs>